Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Volcker Report. This is an end-of-day report for trading on Friday, June the 10th, 2016. Currently, you're looking at a chart of the U.S. dollar index that finished strong on the day with bids going into the close. The market stands well supported at 92.49 going into next week's trading. Currently, momentum is pointing upward on good volume. The market is currently still in a positive pulse wave cycle right now and the upward resistance of 95.32 and 95.49 somewhere in between that range is the price target for going into trading next week. All right, taking a look now at crude oil. Crude oil managed to close down today at uh, down about 67 and a half uh, closing at 48.87 half and it's still well supported at 41.55 so it looks like the pullback could be bought uh, right around the trend line support of 45.16 so another three dollars before this market is probably um, defended and bid back up but I do believe the trend line support of 45 16 and a half will be defended and you see your momentum just flattened out here and so did your volume uh, for the week and this market is still in a post wave positive scenario with the trend line support coming into play at the 45 16 price level okay now switching our focus to the uh, S&P 500 market remains well supported at 2053 and a half and you have a positive pulse wave cycle here going into play and the trend lines are still above the Kumo cloud even though your momentum came off a little bit for take back Friday this market is still well supported going into next week and could probably tolerate a little bit more pullback before the 2053 area is defended so we got about another possible thirty dollars in pullback I'm sorry not thirty dollars thirty points in pullback uh, before this market may be defended and bid back up again. Switching our focus now to gold futures. Gold futures are still in a pulse wave negative scenario. Downtrend channel. We had a nice retracement uh, off the lows and the market has overhead resistance at the 1298.70 level. If the market can manage to punch above that, we should get well into the 1300s next week. However, uh, this market could be in jeopardy of seeing uh, any additional rallies sold. So we'll have to wait and see what, uh, what manifests itself here. But the market is now an overall bullish stance as opposed to before when it was trading well below the Kumo cloud, all rallies were being sold. But now we see uh, bids uh, going into the close for this market and it had a strong finish. So it's possible that we could get a possible breakout on the horizon in the gold futures contract. Looking at GLD, same scenario right now. Overhead resistance is at 123.27, and it, it too is in a negative pulse wave cycle, trying to break out. Uh, and it is in an overall bullish position. So, this is the beginning of a, a bull cycle move. So, next week should see this market get well into the 125 level. All right, looking at silver futures, overhead resistance 1790 held. For this week still negative pulse wave situation also going on here markets trying to get something going here off these lows trying to trying to build momentum is getting to the overbought level we had our um, a volume rise from last week which is good so the market has a good firm foundation to move on that $16 level is holding as we suspected several weeks ago uh, when we told you that so things that we told you is, is really holding up here uh, in the metal so I see going forward uh, a nice uh, a nice attempt at a bull run uh, going into next week uh, looking at the SLV same situation uh, upside resistance is at 1693 negative pulse wave situation going on but the trend lines are in the Kumo cloud and we're overbought so we could see a possible pause in this one before it tries to break out but uh, we did have rising volume this week as well strong bids going into the close the overall bullish picture does look sound 
Okay, and topping everything off here with Bitcoin. Bitcoin finished strong for the week at 578.77, and this market is poised to go higher for next week as well. I see 600 though as a strong upside resistance, and we could see a two to three hundred dollar pullback once that 600 is, is hit. It's just a overall uh, summer summertime cycle effect. So that's all we have for now. Remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Remember to take what you can and give nothing back.